Hi, and welcome to the first lecture on the liver. In this lecture, we're going to cover the anatomy and physiology of the liver, diagnostic tests, and an introduction to the medications we use in treating liver dysfunctions. The liver is the largest gland in the body. It's located in the upper right quadrant of the abdominal cavity, below the diaphragm, to the right of the stomach. Blood supply flows through two different places to get to the liver. There's the hepatic portal vein, which carries venous blood from the digestive tract to the spleen and the liver. And then there's the hepatic arteries, which carries oxygenated arterial blood to the liver. The liver is a very diverse organ, having six different physiological functions. These are metabolism, storage, excretory, synthesis, detoxification, and immunity. So let's take a look at these. It metabolizes lipids, carbohydrates, and proteins, and it can convert some amino acids into others. It also converts glucose into glucagon for storage. It stores vitamins, minerals, and fats. It excretes excess amino acids, creating bile to aid in digestion. It synthesizes proteins, bile, blood clotting factors, and vitamin A. And it also helps in terms of detoxification. It detoxifies or purifies the blood by removing waste, drugs, hormones, and foreign substances. It also breaks down old red blood cells and excretes the byproduct of this, which is bilirubin, into the bile. It helps out in terms of immunity by excreting IgA, and it contains Kupfer cells, which are macrophages found in the liver that filter antigens. Let's talk about some of the diagnostic procedures. Endoscopic retrograde choleangiopancreatography is also called ERCP for short because it is a mouthful. ERCP is the examination of the hepatobiliary system with the use of an endoscope, which is a long flexible tubing with a light at the end. It's inserted through the esophagus and into the stomach, then into the duodenum. Then a dye is injected so that the organs will be seen through use of thoroscopy. This test is used to diagnose problems in the liver, pancreas, gallbladder, and bile ducts. Fluoroscopy is the use of real-time image, images created by x-rays lighting up the contrast dye and providing a well-defined image. It's indicated for chronic pancreatitis, which is inflammation of the pancreas uh, that can cause permanent, brain, uh, permanent damage leading to scarring of the pancreas, bile duct strictures or tumors which narrow the common bile duct, biliary calculus which is gallstones, these are stones in the gallbladder that can block the main bile duct, suspected cancer of the bile duct or in the pancreas, it's also indicated for uh, yellow jaundice which turns the skin yellow and the urine dark, as well as undiagnosed abdominal pain. Before ERCP, the patient should be put on NPO status for at least eight hours before the procedure to ensure accurate results and to promote safety from not allowing aspiration. The patient will be given sedatives to aid in relaxation and so we want to check for allergies. We want to obtain a patient history of any allergies, especially relating to dye or to iodines and shellfish. After ERCP, we want to monitor for the return of the gag reflex, and we don't want to have any, any intake by mouth until the return of that reflex. We want to check for signs of perforation, bleeding, and pain, and we do not allow the patient to drive because of the sedatives. Another diagnostic procedure is pure cutaneous transhepatic choleangiography, or PTC for short. This is a diagnostic procedure in which a thin needle is inserted through the skin, that's the percutaneous part, and through the liver, which is the transhepatic part, to reach the bile duct and inject it with contrast medium dye. 